Hey everybody, it's Micah. Grab your Bibles. Let's go through the Word. So we're here in Luke chapter 9, picking up this uh, short uh, anecdote just after Jesus sends out the twelve. Starting in verse 7, it says, Now Herod, the Tetrarch, heard about all that was going on, and he was perplexed. Because some were saying that John had been raised from the dead, others that Elijah had appeared, and still others that one of the prophets of long ago had come back. But Herod said, I beheaded John. Who then is this I hear such things about? And he tried to see him. This this anecdote, this this short moment pops into scripture here, and we see at least uh, the heart of this local political leader who's trying and struggling to understand who Jesus is, trying and struggling to understand who Jesus is because he's not really willing to submit himself to anyone or anything that doesn't provide him with his own political power not really willing to submit himself to the higher glory that is Jesus, not really willing to submit himself to the true king of kings. Moore here uh, points this out. He says, like the other Herods, he has enough conscience to plague him with guilt for his misdeeds, but not enough to overcome his insatiable appetite for political power. He is in the uncomfortable position of a corrupt politician who dabbles in religion. His guilt causes him to ponder who this Jesus is, yet he is not ready to become a disciple. This is a massive word, uh, especially in the season that we're in, in this season of of political uh, unrest and Um, everything that's going on kind of uh, locally and internationally, globally, on on the national front, at at the very least, Jesus is the King of Kings. Jesus is the Lord of Lords. There is no question over uh, his ultimate identity, but the reality is there are going to be those who maybe see glimpses of who Jesus really is, but are not ready to submit themselves. So this is the question for you in your life, in your walk, in this moment right now. Jesus is the King of glory. But are you in a place where you are ready to set down your position, to set down your power, to set down your authority and recognize his glory? Or are you going to recognize at a distance that Jesus seemed like a nice guy, that Jesus had some good teachings, that Jesus said some things that might impact people maybe, and maybe I'll try and live a little bit better. Those are not the same thing. Submission to the King of Heaven is not accepting that Jesus was a kind man. It is recognizing that he is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. There's not a whole lot else to say about that except that we have to submit to him. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, there is coming a day when every knee will bow. Every knee in heaven and on earth and under the earth will confess that Jesus is God. Would you help us to be those who confess that truth now and follow him for his glory's sake? It's in Jesus' holy and precious name we pray. Amen. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Remember to like, subscribe, and click that bell.